All right, we are back at it tonight. Um, we got an interesting lure we're gonna do. We're gonna do one of these large tadpoles from Lure Build, and we're gonna do it in a iridescent copper black using a prototype stencil from Insane Custom Stencils, Russ Allen. So let's get to it. So what I've already done is I already coated the head uh, with a um, Autoborn Sealer White, and then I came back with it with a Titanium White Golden on the top, and it's been drying. Um, this is going to be a different one to do by far because of um, uh, there's no hook hangers on this. This really reminds me of an old fishing lure from the 80s called a Dance's Eel that Bill Dance came out with. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how we paint this one. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little bit of black in these big old eyes because I don't have a 15 millimeter eye. So I'm going to be using a 12 and I still think I can make it look right. But I wanted to paint this thing. So I'm going to hit that. I'm gonna, that's the thing with this lure. It is going to be, you can't really put your hands on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that gun and let it sit. I'm going to leave the black in. I'm going to switch to my my own HBCH and we'll cut this pressure down some because I don't want this thing blasting. This is a little bit bigger needle and just like I talked in my video last night you just got to know what your airbrush is going to do. So what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and shake this golden iridescent copper up and we're gonna open this thing up. I hadn't used this in a while. This is a very cool color if you don't have it. Um, golden paints, I love the paints. They're really airbrush friendly. They're ready to go. So we're gonna put some in the cup. And give it a test squirt. And I think I'm gonna take it out of this to paint this so you can see it in the video. Um, I'm not going to paint the whole head. I still want to leave some of the white. So I'm going to, I'm going to start here in the front. And I'm going to put this copper on. It's kind of a cool color. I want to bring it down a little bit more on this side. And fix this nose a little bit. This is definitely a just a wicked little bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the tail down, and the tail comes it, it comes white, so it's not clear. But I'm not going to um I don't want to paint the whole tail. So what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna take the copper and I'm gonna hit these fins on the outside. So that's what you see. It's kind of a cool effect. And then when I run my stencil, it'll, um, it'll actually, uh, you know, you'll have multiple colors. Okay, so we're gonna let, oh, I must have touched the head here. So I'm gonna have to heat set this thing. I don't want it to um, have a problem. So I'm gonna stick this back up in my holder. I'm gonna grab this air, air dryer and see if I can manage to get this dry.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this thing down because like I said, it is just a hard, it is a hard bait to, to hang on to, but it just looks like it's just going to be fun to fish. It really does. It looks like it's going to be very fun to fish. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take it. Uh, this I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you another trick. I'm going to cut this stencil down. I got too much plastic. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. I don't, I'm sorry. I can't tell you what this one is called. You're going to have to just go to his website. Cause I think I, he may have sent this to me before he actually named it because I don't see a, um, I don't see a name on it. Oh, uh, he may have sent me something he was testing out. He's done that in the past, and I'm sure that's what's happened here. But the reason I'm doing this is I can get the stencil closer to the bait. That's all. It's not hurting the stencil. I'm just taking the fat off of it. Okay, so that's done. And I'll hang on to those. Who knows what you'll use them for. So now what I'm going to do, there we go. That's a lot better. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I don't want to get that eye in there. So what I'm going to do, now I'm going to take my black. And I'm going to, well, it would help if I put the hose on it. I'm going to leave that copper in the gun just in case I need a little more copper paint. So we're going to test this out. And that's good. It's on a low pressure. Let me put this thing up where y'all can see it. I, I'm, I'm the worst photographer in the business. So I think we can see that a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, you can see where I've taken the copper and went around it. Um, I'm just going to set this stencil up. I don't want to, on this stencil, it's got like place for an eye. So I'm going to slide that up and I'm not going to hit that. I don't want to cover this all with black. I'm just going to hit it very lightly. just to give this tail some texture. And that's what it looks like. Turned out pretty cool. And I'm gonna do the same around the face of this. I want, I want it to have that. That textured look. So I'm gonna, let me hit this one more time. It's got one spot on it that's kind of light looking. I don't care a whole lot for that. Yeah, that's a lot better. So let me set this down and I'll pick it up and I'll show it to you. And that's what it looks like. It's a very, you know, it's a basic design, cool, Copper is in a lot of the bluegills here, and I catch a lot of fish on copper. I like fishing it. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just do it on this side. We'll spin it over, just make sure your stencil is dry. And if you get this stencil, it's, a, it's the large one. It comes with a little one too, it gets a two set. So we're gonna take the black. We're gonna clean it off just to make sure we don't have any dry tips. We don't have an issue and we'll go ahead and just run over it. Okay, there you go. And then we'll look at this eye again. I wanna see how far it came down. I just went around the tippy top of it and came down some. So we'll put it on, I'll just hit around it. Turned out really cool looking. So, one other thing I think I'm gonna do to it is, I'm gonna put that, well, tell you what, I'll just, I'm gonna leave that, I'm not gonna do that. I've done that, I've used that netting quite a bit. And this is actually a, a helping hand with a single. Uh, I'm not big on helping hands, but, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Um, 
These are some really cool eyes from Lure Build. They're not the right size, but I think they'll work out great, especially since I darkened the eye up. These are going to have to be glued in. Um, I'll show you the eye. It is a very neat eye. So what I got to do is I just got to line them up. I got to get some super glue out. And take this off. Get my tweezers. I like to use tweezers on this to, to center them, especially when I'm having to glue them. And I'm just going to put glue right in the middle there. You don't need a lot. A dab will hold the eye without any problems. And I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to have to hold it in place for a minute until it bites. And that is a cool, cool bait. Those eyes are killer. They are killer. So we'll flip it over. We'll get a dab of super glue. Don't need a lot. I think we all tend to use too much super glue. It just needs enough to hold that eye in the center because whatever your choice of top coat is, is going to hold that eye in. All you're wanting to do is just get it secured where it's not just going to pop off there. So you drop it on, then you just center it up where you want it really fast like I'm not doing. Hold it for a minute till it bites. Oh, come on now. Maybe you weren't touching like I thought you were. There we go. Come on, baby. All right. And that's what you get. And this thing is going in my tackle box. That's the good thing about being a, a custom painter and you don't sell. You get to keep everything. And that's what I like about it because I love to fish. And I love to fish my stuff. So let's go back over what we've done. This, Like I said, these lures I'm doing are very basic colors. They're not a lot of colors. I've used two color. Well, I've used three colors on this. I used the white. I'm not going to put the sealer out, but what we'll do is we'll go over it. So we got the blank from Lure Build, and I'm going to go ahead and take this off so we can see what it looks like without it. So you can see what kind of bill this thing's got. This is, I just got these from Lure Build um, earlier in the week on Monday, and I've been itching to paint one of these things. I was kind of reluctant because I didn't have the right eye size, but I said, man, I'm going to. I'm a, I got an eye I want to put in it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do it. So it's actually got a plastic lip. It is one cool lure. It really is. Uh, it is a large tadpole. It comes in sinking and floating. You can get it at lurebuild.com. And like I said, what we've done with it is uh, we have taken uh, an Autoborn Sealer White and did the head. I taped the bill because I don't want the I want the bill clear. Um, I took the um, carbon black, I filled in the eye, and then I took the stencil that I used from um, Insane Custom Stencils. I don't know what this is called. I'm sorry. I will try to find out and say it on a later video. Um, I use these great eyes from Lure Build. Jimmy's got a great selection of glass eyes, so go check him out at lurebuild.com. And then we took the copper, went around the tadpole. We used the stencil in black on the inside and just painted the head copper, put these fantastic eyes in it. It is going to be a very cool bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to let those eyes dry. Um, let me show you this. Uh, 
the top coat I'm going to be using on this is the lure, the lure coat by Lure Build. It is a two-part epoxy. Excellent. I, I, I use it on all my lures. I'm an epoxy guy. I like to turn mine. I, I have a turner. And this will be interesting. I mean, because it, it's going to have this tail flapping around. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to come back, put another coat of UVLS on it to lock it in. And then I'm going to put my epoxy on it. And that's going to finish it up. If you like the video, hit the, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification so you know when I got upcoming videos. And like I said, have a great day. See you.